Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm so glad to have you here. Welcome to First Lady Fashion and Style. So today we'll be making a reverse badock neckline. The badock neckline is going to start from the center of this off shoulder sweetheart neck. So we're going to take the first one from here, just like you can see on the thumbnail. The first one is going to start from here and we are going to take it all the way to the shoulder and then to the back and then the other one is going to start from here and have a kind of curve all the way to the waistline so the first thing we need to do here is we need to take the measurement of the length of the badout we need to take so we'll take the first measurement from this center line here and then we'll take it all the way to the arm here and then to the back where we actually want it to stop and then for the second one we'll take the measurement from here and then we'll go all the way around this way to where we want it to stop by the waist so it's time for us to cut the fabric now if you have not subscribed this is the time for you to press that subscribe button because if you don't subscribe you may not see some of our videos but if you want to continue to see all our videos make sure you subscribe on this channel and for those that have subscribed thank you so much for always coming back so it's time for us to cut the fabric so this is the fabric we'll be using you can use any matching fabric of your choice so the, for the first measurement the one that will be going around the arm here I measured from the center front to the arm and in total I got 22. Please make sure it is not too tight and it is not too loose so that the person will be able to raise that arm even with the bad dots there. So I got 22 so I'm going to measure 23 because of the sewing allowance and then for the length of the badot i'm going to use three inches i'm going to use three inches for the the width sorry i'm going to use three inches for the width of the badot now i'm still going to turn it in on one side so by the time i'm done turning it in in all i will have 2.5 so if you want yours to be bigger you can just add more inches to it so for this i'm going to measure three three all the way down this way and i'm going to cut the three here now on the edge so this is the this is the first one so what I'm going to do is that on the edge here, I'm going to make it a little bit pointy because of the sweetheart neckline is going to go into the center. So this part should not be square. So I'm just going to use my scissors to just give it a curve this way so you can see. So by the time we sew it, this curvy part will go into the sweetheart neckline. So I'm going to cut the other side of the badot that is 15, the length is 15, I'm going to cut it to 16 and I'm going to put it here so that we have the same shape for the front of the, of the panel here. So I'm going to cut the second one, I'm going to fold my fabric the same way and cut the second one. You can cut on bias if you wish. So I'm going to put the second one on it. It's not the same length, but I want the front part to have the same shape. So make sure the front part, I'm going to measure 15. Because the front side is 15, I'm going to measure 16 plus the sewing allowance. And then remember we are using the same width for both. So I'm just going to put it together here. We are using the same width. I'm going to put it together and I'm going to cut it out here. 
I'm going to cut it out. I want the mouth to have the same, I want it to have the same kind of pointy mouth. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the ironing table. I'm going to open it up and put my interface on both fabric. And then from there, we'll sew it and then I'll tell you what next to do. So now I've added my interface to both the first one and the second one. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to sew it down. I'm going to sew it, but I'm not going to sew this starting point. The reason is because now this is where we want to insert the badot. On this neckline here, I'm going to put this side in the neckline when I, I'm about to sew it I'm going to stick it inside here to sew so I don't have to sew the beginning so I'm going to leave that first part and then I'll start my sewing from somewhere around here and I'm going to sew it down so I'm going to sew it down and do the same thing to the second side So after sewing, I'm going to bring it, I will turn it inside out and then for the two and I'm going to iron it. So this is what I have for both sides. I have turned it and I've ironed it. So for the one in front, the one that would have a curvy, the one that will have the S shape in front, I'm going to add this bone i'm going to add it to it to give it a structure in front so to do that on this side here where i have the pointy edge i'm going to measure from here i'm going to measure the length that will be okay for me i'm going to put it this way and i'm going to sew it down if i measure this bone now i should have like something like 0.75 so i'm going to sew 0.75 here because i'm going to insert the bone into it so 0.75 here and i'm going to sew it down that's where i'm going to add my bone in to give it structure So now I'm done with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bone in inside. I'm going to stick it inside this way. You can see it's already giving the, the fabric the structure. So you can use this for any form of style you want. You want it to have structure. This is how you are going to do it. So now that I have it to this place, mind you i'm not going to it's not going to come out from this other side i'm going to sew in this other side this way this side i'm going to close it up i'm going to close it up i'm going to sew it from outside and then i'll cut the rest of the bone off and then i'll close the mouth here I'm going to close it up in front here. Okay. And then trim off the excess. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to attach this into the fabric. This is the fabric. So on this side here, I'm going to attach the first one here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it inside this way here this way and I'm going to sew it I'm going to sew it up to this part here 
and then when I get here I will stop this side will not go in this side will be on the shoulder so this side will not go into the fabric so I'm going to leave this side and then I'm going to join it to the back where I want it to be I'm going to put it inside it this way and I'm going to do the the front part too and show you what I have when I am done so right now I'm going to sew this I'm going to sew this this way and it's going to come like that okay so this is what we have you can see I have attached the the side to it everything well connected at the middle side and this I connected to the shoulder and then to the to the back and this other one I connected from the center I used it to make a kind of pattern and this pattern was attached with needle and thread I used my hand needle to attach it so this is it for the reverse the badduck neckline so you can make yours it's very easy to make thank you for watching and see you in the next class if you have not subscribed this is the time for you to subscribe so that you can see our other videos thank you and see you next class